$10,000 in student loan debt forgiveness. That right there, that is the national headline. But let me tell you, there is some fine print right here in North Carolina. Yeah, there it is. As of right now, you'll be paying $525 in taxes on that debt relief money. I don't think folks should necessarily freak out just yet. Uh, however, I would uh, encourage you to uh, let your legislature or let your state senator know uh, your opinion about it and that you, you know, do not want to be taxed on any of your uh, loan forgiveness and that they need to pass a law to, uh, com to go along with what the federal law says. Usually forgiven loans are considered taxable income. The American Rescue Plan, that's the federal law, says forgiven student debt is not taxable at the federal level. There are no tax consequences on student debt relief until 2026. North Carolina, though, they'd have to change their tax law. Tax expert Ryan Dodson says the state has changed it before in situations just like this. For example, when it came to all of the PPP loans, uh, that were given out uh, during the uh, coronavirus. Uh, initially, the state of North Carolina was going to tax everybody on all of that loan forgiveness. Eventually, they came around and they ended up uh, saying, nope, okay, nope, we're not going to tax you on any of that loan forgiveness, and it's, it's considered tax-free in the state of North Carolina as well. My expectation is that they'll do the same here. Two Wants to Know has reached out to several of our state legislators in our area to see what they knew about this and if it would be coming up in discussion soon. As of right now, though, that $525 in taxes still stands. We'll keep you posted.